Hello there, this is Ryan from Burly Bricks coming to you live from my obscene Lego room and today we're building this. This Lego Star Wars 75387 boarding the Tantive 4. It is 502 pieces and it retailed, I want to say, for $70 Canadian. But I got it on Amazon for a pretty good deal. It was like, um, I want to say like 30% off. Now, I'm not the biggest Star Wars guy. But I have seen all of them. Um, so I've, I've built other Star Wars sets on this channel. And for me, I don't particularly enjoy um, ships. I'm not like a, a ships guy. Um, with the exception of the Naboo Starfighter, that one's my favorite Star Wars ship. Um, but I do like the scenes, the little scene, scene it's, um, little sets, things like that, like the Moss Isley Cantina. That was a fun one. Um, that's my sort of go to. Okay, so it's telling me to build. This isn't going to stay down. It's telling me to build these people. And it's a times two, which is slightly disappointing that they're like the same person. I'd understand if they were um, stormtroopers. They do have different faces, though. So I guess I could just do one and one, but I guess I don't, I'm not sure if that makes it less collectible because there's two of them now. What is with these silver guns? Uh, I mean, technically, I guess I could just build one and say times two. Where are those hands? Their hats were always funny. Oh, this was a down. Um, another reason why I bought this is because Star Wars stuff is always a good investment, especially, um, oops, uh, minifigures that aren't very common. So it's always good to see have some of these because I'm probably not going to keep them. I sometimes keep the ones from certain um, can't find their pants. I'll find them. But basically this is what times two they look like. Okay, moving on. Um, yeah, so it's always good to sort of have oh, this is that new I don't know if it comes shows up on this camera, but it's like that new orange color, that orange red color that I don't have enough of to give it a drawer. <laughs> so this will just float around somewhere off camera for a while. I'm already like jumping ahead. <laughs> I always do that. I'm off today, so I thought, okay, I'll bake. I'll build a set that has over 500 pieces. <laughs> Am I missing a bag? No? Oh, it's here. Duh. Okay, so yeah, so this is like the, the very beginning of the first movie. The first movie. When I saw it, it was the first movie. Actually, that's not true. Um, first time I saw Star Wars A New Hope, I was 11. They re-released it for my birthday, no. Um, they re-released it for the 20th anniversary edition. So I remember going to see it with my sister who had already seen it, but I had never seen it. And I was interested, like I, I was, I was pretty into it, but I remember the scene with the trash compactor. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I remember 
It was my first time seeing it. And my sister had seen it before, as mentioned. And um, back then, I always, Americans always think it's, I'm, I'm from Canada, but there's these, uh, we have ketchup chips, ketchup flavored chips, which you either love them or you hate them. And I love them. And right around that time, they started this ketchup popcorn seasoning um, that was really good. And I remember my sister got popcorn and we were watching the movie and I guess it ran out of flavor on the top layer. So she made me go out into the lobby and sprinkle more on. And this was during the trash compactor scene. Um, and as I've said, I've never, I've never, uh, I've never seen the movie before. And I remember uh, being really annoyed about that. If she's watching, she probably doesn't care. Um, but I, I remember I saw that one in theaters and then the Empire Strikes Back and um, Return of the Jedi. I think I ended up buying like the VHS collector's edition. Um, and that's how I saw them. But this was like the controversial, like they redid all the effects and Han shot first and, and uh, you know, all that stuff. So it's more or less been disowned now. And I know there's like a bunch of other like versions of these movies. I can't keep track. Um, but I did see all of the other ones, the, the uh, like Phantom Menace and all that. I did see all those in theaters. Um, and the new ones, I believe I saw them all in theaters as well. So, yes, I've seen them all. <laughs> um, the TV shows, you know, I try to keep up. I haven't seen the newest one that people are kind of, I forget what it's called. It starts with an A, but people are not into it. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. But I saw like Boba Fett and Mandalorian, like all of those. They always have really good casts, so I'll say that much. But I wasn't really big into Akasha. Great cast, but eh. And Obi-Wan was kind of like, eh. I don't know. Controversial. Hot takes. Hot takes. Sorry, people. It's just my opinion, right? I know you just came here to, to build Lego, not to hear about that. So I would say, like, um... As I, I've said, I, I've seen these movies, but I'm not like a crazy Star Wars person. And if you are, good for you. I get it. I mean, I I was <laughs> when The Phantom Menace came out. I remember collecting all the, the Pepsi and Mountain Dew and all those cans. And I lived near a KFC, which always had like the marketing for that movie was crazy. And I, 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 I ate it up. I had them all. I think I saw it in theaters like three times. Like, I was the target audience at that time. How old was I? 12? Math. Nope, 13. Um, yeah, it was big into The Phantom Menace. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but it, it, it has a nostalgia, a place in my nostalgic heart. Because <laughs> it was very of that time. And if you're a kid who wasn't waiting, like, like I said, I had just discovered Star Wars a few years before, so I wasn't like someone who had been waiting 20 years for a follow-up, you know what I mean? That's okay. It was a fun time, and it was, and it was great on the big screen. Missing a piece. I keep thinking I'm missing pieces. Nope. Guess we're building like the underneath.
like the where all the important bits are. It's always fun to see how they do this, how they um, they uh, like what colors they choose for the underneath and all that stuff. It's just it's always interesting to see because I like to um, boost my builds up as well. skipping over looking at this <laughs> I'm doing it on a extreme mode just looking at this page wait actually I do need to look over there <laughs> and then like later I'll be like why am I why do I have all these extra pieces where did these come from this is why Ryan so I always do this Oh, nice. Okay, so now we're filling this in. It's coming together interesting. It doesn't really like look like there's a whole lot of pieces when you when you build this. It looks like there'd be a lot more. I guess it's because um a lot of these pieces are like big pieces. So it, it's going together pretty fast, which I appreciate because while I'm in the mood to build, I don't want to sit like this all day. I hurt my back. There's a lot of like. We're building in like future action things. So there's like a lot of these tiles that look like they're going to take out. I guess it's for having these no-name guys. They're going to be like flung around by Darth What's-His-Face, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know it's Vader. But yeah, so we've built like a lot of these little nubs that they're going to mess up the floor. There. I'm assuming the rest is just sort of like tiling. Oh, there's like this random pink piece. Hmm, did I do something wrong? 
I don't think so. Hopefully that's right. There's a lot of like one by fives in here, which aren't the most common. But I'm seeing more of them lately. I don't know if that's fun or cheating. <laughs> But I remember the set coming out and people were going nuts about it. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, I get it. If you're a fan, like, it's big. Not sure. Um, let me know in the comments if this scene has been depic depicted in Lego before. Okay, we've just about done the first bag. I miss one of these. Nope. Does it go up here? Okay, bag two. We're building stormtroopers. And one's a lady trooper. They have different ethnicities. Let me know in the comments about that because I've always I've always been kind of confused about the whole clones. Like they're supposed to all be clones. Um, they even make reference in the the new one, um, or like one of the newer ones, because there's that like bit where the one clone bangs. One of the stormtroopers during this scene bangs their head on something, right? And that's been known as like a a big like goof over the years, movie goof, um, to the point that they actually like I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, they incorporated that in one of the new movies to show that like, oh, these clones have always sort of been like that. So let me know why. These are different people, like they're very different different. Like this is this is a looks to be like a, a black woman, which is great, good for you, girl, but like I'm just curious what people think about that. Because continuity I'm really big into continuity, especially in movies and things like that. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's collectible. But um I'm just curious, like, were they actually all clones or was that, like, rebutted later in a different movie? Um, I really don't know. Like, I'm a movie buff about certain things. Like, if you want to talk to me about aliens or something, that's fun. But Star Wars, when you're late to the game, you just don't really bother trying to be the expert on that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Lots of curved pieces here. I might use these um, for my daily pieces. Let's start working in the winter area. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. I like to film a bunch ahead of time and then post them when I, when I need something. Um, So now I need to spin this around. Um,
It's always interesting when they give you like really long pieces. Let me know in the comments if you built this and if you if this is a forever display piece for you. Probably won't be for me. But I, I can appreciate why it would be for other people. I'm probably dissect it for pieces because I'm I have very limited space. <laughs> Actually this this you can't see, but all of this is just everything's everywhere um because when i build it just sort of ends up everywhere I try to organize i really do but there's just a lot of i don't know what to do with this so i'm just going to leave this in the container <laughs> so and <in laughs> so building is also um like cleaning up because i have a pile of sets over there and I can't get to my shelf because there's a bunch of sets in front of it. And I just keep, especially this time of year when everything's on sale, it's like, oh, I need to, I need to buy this. I don't have kids or a pet or, or anything like that. So like, I got to spend my money on something, right? Where's that piece? Oh, here it is. It's a lot of like the same color scheme. It's going together pretty fast, which is nice. spin this back it's already taken shape i like the curve element of it that's always fun so it looks like we're finally going to start putting some of these stickers on oops i'm supposed to put something on the back of that no So we're putting stickers on wedge pieces, which is awkward. Um, where's the other one? They're supposed to look like these vents. I'll do it. Sometimes I don't put the stickers on my sets. There we go, finally. Okay, so it's coming together. Well, that's not right. Oh, okay.
I have so many of these pieces from like cars and things that it's interesting when I see them used in, in builds, like for wall designs, because it kind of gives me thoughts like, oh, maybe I should be incorporating these. Okay. Ooh. So now we're turning this back around. Okay. We're building like a full thing that goes all the way through. It's a little tricky. Okay. Now we're putting more stickers. Just adjust myself here. Um, but they're not too bad. I kind of wish they were prints, you know, but. Okay. Um, let me see if I can just adjust this a little bit because I don't know if it's loud enough. If it's not, sorry, in advance. I haven't filmed for a couple of weeks, it feels like. All right, this bag is almost done as well, which is nice. Ooh, a side build. I never think to do like side builds in my builds. Oh, it's a times two, fun. I think we're just about done here. Hmm. Okay, so the printing's gotten a little faded now. <laughs> I'm also realizing Oh no, what did I just drop? Was it the person's head? <laughs> I can't show you where it landed, but it landed where the speaker charges. It's kind of funny, actually. Okay, I don't know this person's name. Let's take a look. Captain Antilles. Okay, that sounds familiar. Is missing a right. Okay. So this is Captain Antilles. 
fun. Oh. Interesting they're using I have a lot of these as well. Actually, I think I use them in my office tower. I think I ordered a bunch of these actually. I ended up using them in my office tower. I need to do like proper videos for all my bills. <laughs> I just never find time and when I have time I'm I'm doing this. But um please check out my Lego City tour videos. I did one for Halloween that was pretty good. Um, but I'm also busy doing my daily Lego pieces. Um, if you don't watch them in on my YouTube shorts, um, every day I add 25 pieces to an ongoing project. Okay, what are we building? We're building a wall or a... Boy, this is a big we got side build and everything. Nope. Okay, so now we've built a little part where Vader comes through all dramatically. Drama Queen, right? Ooh, okay, another sticker. This should have been a prince. Come on. Is 
Okay, so it looks like that's that for that. Okay, four. Yeah, this uh, this build is, is going together pretty fast. This, these are the kind of builds that I enjoy. I mean, I know sometimes you want to like take your time, but it's not like I feel like they're they're skimping or anything, with the exception of like you know the stickers. But um, I'm always gonna find something to nitpick about. <laughs> but um, this is fun. Even though it's like a child's toy, like you know, essentially, it does feel like it's going together like um, an adult model, which is fine. Okay. Okay, so this is where the other one goes. This feels like I'm building a droid with this. <laughs> oh, this is where the last one of these goes. Well, minimal, minimal. Stickers is always good. So is this it in the last one? I think the last bit is actually for this collectible figure. I'm not sure though. which is, seems to be a nice added bonus. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Haven't opened it yet, right? Okay, and so this, oh, it needs the smooths. I mean, the door, the door builds are interesting. The sideways builds. I don't know if I would really bother if I was making a mock, I'd probably just, essentially do it the way they had it. I don't know if maybe like you put them on the sides, but I'm assuming you could just put them down if you want to like, I don't know if they're being fancy or if there's like a real reason for that. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, it's always fun to like learn different build techniques and things like that, right? But oops. Wrong? No, that's right.
Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know, I think it was a brick, but I don't know what brick they're saying plus of. <laughs> You know what's sad? I kind of forgot about Darth Vader. <laughs> Obviously, he's like the star of this, but I kind of forgot that he was going to show up. Hmm. All right, so I have another Darth Vader. I did the Darth Vader mech. It was at, it was one of the first things I did, and it was really embarrassing because what happened was I bought it on this clearance uh, rack at Walmart. It was regularly like twenty dollars. It was on a clearance rack for like eight dollars, and it was all wrapped up. Like it was all um, like it had been opened and then closed, and you know that's sketchy because it's possible that it's missing something. And so I went to build it <laughs> for the channel and I opened it up and I realized it's missing the first bag and the first bag has Darth Vader in it. So I had to like, you know, I had to stop what I was doing. Um, not sure why this, it says in the instructions that this is just off to the side. Not sure why. Um, so to stop what I was doing and it's a very awkward, um, I wasn't live or anything like that, obviously. Um, so then I reached out to Shop Lego and I asked, I said, you know, I, I bought this somewhere else, but it's missing a bag. And, you know, I bought it, it says like as is on it. Um, but if you've built the mock, it's three bags and the first bag is Darth Vader plus like the, the, the chest of the mock, right? So, so I reached out and I said, you know, it was missing a bag. And they were very kind and they sent me a replacement bag, which was awesome. Um, and then I went to build it, but I realized, so Darth with his he helmet off. Um, I think James Earl Jones passed away recently, didn't he? Uh, anyway, so they sent me all the pieces and it was great. But the thing is they didn't send me um, the cape because the cape came se was separate in the box from that so they didn't send me the cape <laughs> so uh i'm i have a darth vader in my collection now that's capeless and it will bother me for the rest of my life <laughs> and though i usually like resell ip related stuff um i, I don't like to, to sell things that are incomplete so that bothers me that I have that kicking around. All right, so this is this is one of those bags I don't like. <laughs> That's just like all small pieces. Um, I mean, the one by ones are good because you you will get an extra one of them, right? But what is this piece? What is this? This looks almost different. All right, what color is it I'm looking for here? It's like a little, oh, shoot. It was in with the cape. I didn't even notice this. I wonder how easily lost these are for people. It looks almost like the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Is that two guns? These guns are different. I can't say I've seen them before. I don't, like I said, I don't buy a lot of Star Wars stuff, but this definitely looks. There we go. It's got one of the little antenna things that Boba Fett has that's easily lost as well. Make sure it's all together. 
But yeah, so this is what's his name? Exclusive Arc Trooper Fives. Okay. Oh, and they got a little ooh printed. That's nice. Always nice to have. Goes on this little stand. Wonder how collectible this will be like later. But again, like I find Star Wars certain characters are like I know like that sand stormtrooper that I had um from the Moss Isley Cantina. I think I sold him for like thirty dollars. Canadian. This is gonna keep falling off. That's frustrating. I believe two, no, just the one. Okay. So that's what he looks like. Fun. Looks like there's an extra piece here. I'm not sure why. All right. So this is printed too. So I don't, I don't know. I probably sound like a broken record, but it's just, it's weird when they have like certain prints for certain things, but then not for other ones. Like, the other ones that were like times four, it would make sense, you know, if you printed it, you'd be printing a lot. It's not like a waste of a a mold or a print or I don't know if it's to cut costs or what, but these are things I think about. Let me know in the comments how you feel. Sometimes um, stickers, you know, if you're building something and um, say you, it's like a big clear piece and it has like a sticker on it. Like you can choose not to put the sticker on it if you want that piece for something else later. So that's always nice. Because sometimes you'll get printed things and you're like, oh, now I have this print kicking around. And I had like a drawer full of them. So either way, I'm going to complain. It's just, it's what I do. This almost looks like a dark blue. It doesn't look quite like the smoky gray. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if this is a new color. I need to look this up. This is some sort of like smoke. I don't know if this is like when he goes like, <laughs> you know what I mean? With his lightsaber and like pokes a hole. Ah. Oh, it's sideways. Interesting. Didn't guess that. I should have saw that coming. Because, you know, reasons. That's neat. And this color does look different. It looks like a like a dark blue, um, like a blue gray transparent piece. Doesn't look like there's a there's a gray one or a brown, I think they call it. Like if you look up the piece in particular. Okay, so we put this on sideways here. I see. So that's fun. Okay, so this is how it, it will look. As you can see here, like Darth had just, you know, opened it up with his lightsaber. Um, or you can just close it, and that's how it looks regularly. So that's a nice touch. And now, what are we doing? Hmm.
assuming this is be like the fancy doorknob. Okay, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, and I can also do it on this side too, is what they're telling me. Cool. I'm doing some paneling. Oh, right. We're building these panels that go into the wall. Lots of these little like ingots, I think they're called. They're like the gold pieces. Is that right? Yeah, okay. It's kind of awkward to get these in here now. Four. I'm gonna have to use this to lay this down. <laughs> Hmm. This piece is scuffed. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a scuff on it. That's annoying. Whoa. Did I miss? Oh, I've missed some things. Of course. Why is there so many of those, too? I need to put some more of these here. Uh oh. I have this black. Oh, right. This is supposed to go with that. Why are there so many of, of these, though? I wonder if I'm supposed to put those somewhere. Yeah, so that's the set. That's fun. This was a fun build. Um. Let me know in the comments if you've built this set. Are you planning on building this set? Um, did you buy it when it first came out? If, is there other Star Wars um, 
sets that are like um like just scenes that you would recommend for me i did that yevin levin base <laughs> a few uh a few months ago that was a lot of fun so um let me know in the comments what you think and let me know what your favorite star wars movie is i'm gonna be controversial and say return of the jedi or maybe even phantom menace because i'd probably rewatch those before i would watch the first one i think so if you just unsubscribed okay <laughs> with that said have a, a great rest of your day thanks